Well, I think in, in this report, we see, we've certainly picked cannabis as the one where regulatory experimentation is happening, regardless. And, you know, some of our panelists today, even ones who are quite skeptical about uh, regulatory experimentation, said cannabis regulation in the US or legalization in the US is quite likely probably within the next decade. So it's not a question of if, but when. And this is something that academics, I think, really have a large role in, 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 in discussing and, and saying, we've gotten it quite wrong in alcohol and tobacco policy. There are far too lax. And so these are not models that we want to pursue when it comes to cannabis and then potentially other drugs that, that down the road we might start to look at when we've learned what happens from cannabis, but we're certainly not at that point yet. And um, so I think the key questions are, how do we avoid the mistakes of alcohol and tobacco policy? And how do we minimize the growth in consumption when we move towards a regulated market and some people have done you know some uh, some of the panelists today are far greater experts than I am and I've elaborated on this point but it is things like you know minimize making sure the prices don't fall too much making sure that you keep access minimized as much as possible preventing the commercialization of these products we don't want people advertising cannabis use we don't want we want to minimize the profit incentive for companies to 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 really target problematic users and get them to increase their consumption so this is going to be a, a staggered a staggered learning process it's going to be an incremental process we will do things things will not work we will learn from those things and we will do new things but this is the beginning this is where we start to learn how to actually regulate specific previously illicit drugs